It is delicious. Oh yeah. Whoa, the prices are really Whoa, cheap. this is great. <laughs> We're going to have Singhan's probably favorite food in the world. Did we spend our ten dollars? I think we did. I could eat like four of these bowls. <laughs> We are on our way to eat street food in Bangkok. Let's go. All right, so our mission is to see how much street food we can get for only $10. I think we'll get full before we spend the $10. We'll find out. So the place that we're going to right now is called Victory Monument. If you saw our previous video, we took a sky train from the Victory Monument. And when we were walking by, there were so many delicious looking street food stalls. And so we're gonna go back and see what we can get. We just arrived at the Victory Monument and we hear that there are tons of delicious street food nearby. So our mission today is to see what we can get. Let's go eat. Mm -hmm. yep. So I have a feeling we're not going to get too far with $10 because we're really hungry. So I think we will easily go over budget. And I'm, I'm already starting to see a lot of stalls here. Look. So this place is called Payak Noodle Boat. It says the best of the boat noodle. I think this is very I always have a habit of trying the first thing on the menu. So I might get that. Alright, you want to go sit? <laughs> Oh, I, I guess we get a drink. Whoa, the prices are really wow, cheap. Wow, this is great. <laughs> so I want to get beef noodles, but it's only 16 baht, which is 50 cents. It's crazy cheap. Then we have one, one beef noodle, and one sour soup with pork, and one egg noodle. Okay. Mm. This one, white rice noodle. And water, is this free or how much? 10. 10? <laughs> I don't know. We got some pork rinds. We also got one water, which is 10 baht. It's pretty cheap. Cheers. Oh, it's really good when it's cold. Oh, it is. Uh, it's super refreshing. We got some pork rinds too. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this counts as street food because it's like an actual sit-down restaurant, but it's like a popular place. So I think it's gonna be really good. Yeah, this place has been full ever since we came in, and people are going out, but people are also coming in non-stop. It's also dinner time, so I think people are here to eat their food. Okay, you're up first. So we got our first noodle, and it is only 50 cents, but we realized that it's tiny. So this is sour soup pork noodles. It's really small. So I see some white flat noodles, a little bit of pork, and some green. Let's have a bite. Mm. It's delicious. So the broth, for savory, slightly sour. Also tastes a little bit of sesame oil, and it's really refreshing. Slightly spicy, but not too much so. It is delicious. Let's have a bite. Mm. Oh, I love the broth. It's a little bit salty, spicy, sour. I'm gonna try the crispy then. It's a fried noodle. It's really good. Oh wait, I'll say that for you. <laughs> this one's bigger. All right, so I have the yellow chicken curry noodles. It looks like cow soy. I think that might be what it is. And it has some thin, thin egg noodles, some crunchy noodles on top, and a whole chicken leg. And it's on this delicious looking coconut curry broth. Mm. Oh, I love the egg noodles. They're spicy. And that coconut is really good. I squeeze some lime on top and it adds a little bit of acidity. It's great. Mm. Yummy. So while you were eating, I could already tell like the coconutty, milky broth smelled really good. Let's see if it tastes good too. Mm. Oh yeah, good. It's so tasty. The noodles now taste slightly floury. I think I prefer the texture of the flat rice noodles. So what I got next is beef noodles. This is also in flat rice noodles, and I think it's gonna be a little bit spicy. Mm. Oh man, hey, I accidentally ate it all. What? 
Oh my gosh! Just just one bite. <laughs> what did it taste like? Oh man, remember that boat noodles that we had in Phuket? It tastes very similar. So I really liked it about the noodles. It's slightly spicier. It goes really well with the tender beef. I think the flat rice noodles is the way to go because this captures the flavor of the meat and the broth, but also makes the noodle texture very spongy. It's really, really good. Wait, is that the last noodle? Can you save it for me? I was about to eat that. Uh, boat noodle. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Oh yeah. I could eat like four of these bowls. <laughs> I have the meat bowl. Mm. Mm. I think we need more. Uh, it was really hard to leave because I want to eat like five more bowls of those noodles. We just spent about three dollars. We have seven dollars left. We're gonna go see if we can find some more stuff. We see that there's a whole row of other noodle stalls over here. So I think this whole area is like noodle place. There's a bunch of them in a row. But we're gonna go try to find some other food. walked past this boba tea place and after eating a lot of noodles we wanted to drink something sweet and so we got some brown sugar Taiwan boba tea. Yay, we got boba! Um, yeah, this isn't Thai food but we love boba tea and they have so many stalls all around so we got some. Pretty cheap too, like less than a dollar. Yeah, a little less than a dollar. Okay. I'm more seeing clothing shops than food stalls. I don't know if everyone's eating somewhere else and coming here to shop. At least on this side. We're like to the right of the station. Okay, scratch what I said. I think we found the street food. Let's go. Avocado milk. So one of the things that we noticed is that there are some delicious looking, super good smelling skewers. I don't know what the sauce is, but it smells like chili. This one looks bigger than those one. I think maybe the bigger ones are 15. 15 the smaller ones are 10. 10. Oh. I want to get a little bit. But this one was chicken, and that's pork, and that's beef. Yeah, okay. All right, we got our skewers. We got one of each. Really good, and the stall is super busy with people. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's a spicy barbecue. The sauce is like a little bit sweet, it's a tiny bit spicy, and it has a nice charcoal flavor from the grill. Bro, it's so delicious. It's good. So, this is the chicken skewer. I'm really excited for this pineapple part, it looks really good. <laughs> Oh man, the chicken is marinated in barbecue sauce and they have these giant pieces of pepper, I think, is what it is. Nice and crunchy with the juicy chicken meat. It's really delicious. Alright? Mmm, that's good. I think I like this more than the pork. Yes, pineapple. <laughs> mm. Oh, this beef fatty piece is delicious. Yeah. It's like a giant bacon. We're going to have Singhan's probably favorite food in the world, or one of his favorite foods. We saw a mango sticky rice stall, and we just had to get it. gave us our milk on the side and here's our mango and when she was slicing it it looked so good oh my goodness oh it smells so fresh it's really good I sense it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the condensed coconut milk on top because that's just how I like to eat it all right let's have a bite This is why we came here. I'm serious. Mmm, really, really good. It's just so special to me. It's a perfect harmony. Super sweet, soft mango with sticky rice. 
with condensed coconut milk. It just can't get any better. I think he's in heaven. <laughs> I love it. Seeing it is so right. Such a good balanced dessert. We could eat this every single day. We're getting a little bit full, but we have a little bit more stomach space. So we're gonna explore a little more and find some more food. But first we're gonna eat this awesome mango ciggy rice. Really good. You know, he fell in love with mango sticky rice before he fell in love with me. Yeah. It's so good. All right, we found some jokpa pig's feet. I'm not sure what they're called in Thai, but we love jokpa. We love pig's feet. And so that's what ordered them. And she put it in a bag and she gave us this ladle of delicious looking juices. I'm so excited for this one. And they have all these tables set up. So if you buy food, you can eat here. So she gave us the citrusy looking sauce. I think this goes with the meat, but I have no idea what this is. We'll find out. We also got this bag of like juices and it smells so good and savory. It smells but... like a boat noodle broth. Oh yeah, like five spice. Right. Oh man, it smells so good. Oh yeah, look at all that fatty collagen. I'm gonna try it plain, and then later we're gonna put some more sauce on it. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. The pig feet are super, super tender, and the like skin on the outside is nice and squishy and fatty. This sauce is really vinegary. I think it goes really well with like the fatty pieces, but it's dry. <laughs> it's a little dry. Dump some of it. Hey, right, maybe that's good. We gave it a bath. All right, let's have a bite. Mm. So you said the meat is dry, but the sauce, it tastes really juicy. Pig feet is not complete without some fatty pieces. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Did we spend our $10? I think we did. So this is our last dish of the night. We got a lot. We got noodles, we got drinks, we got mango sticky rice. It's been a good day. All right, everyone. That wraps up our $10 challenge. We did it. Yay, we had so much food here stuffed. I think it was one of the best uses of $10 in a long time. My favorite of the night was the noodles at the first place. They were so good. I really like the pork feet and rice. And of course, mango sticky rice is one of the best. So now we're totally stuffed and we're gonna make our way back home. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Oh, God, I'm so, I'm just so hungry. I need mango sticky rice. I need hot cacao. Cacao. <laughs> just making up stuff. Yeah. I just kicked him around. He was running and I was walking and I just actually kicked him. So ah, I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. My stomach is getting glued to my back, literally. <laughs> it's like skin touching skin. It so doesn't sound appropriate. I'm gonna make Sarah eat some. What? Yeah. Gonna... What? What? Huh? I have to get this one thing real quick. It starts with mango and angel sticky rice. Let's go. <laughs>